Hello, my darlings. Welcome. Now, you're probably thinking, why is Lavoie doing a, a little makeup chat on a, what even day is it? Is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday because it was Easter Monday and I don't work on a bank holiday anymore. Oh, for God's standards now. I ate my body weight in a leg of lamb and 55 Easter eggs and I did not want to come on camera looking like that. So uh, we're here tonight. We are here with the Secret Makeup Club. My name's Lavoie. Your name is fabulous. Welcome to a frivolous chat on a Wednesday evening about makeup. Oh, people are texting me. Let me turn that on silent. So I'm all yours, my darling. What have you all been up to? Talk to me. Talk to me. Hello, Charlotte, my darling. What are you all up to? Tell me your news. Did you have a lovely Easter? Are you excited to see me back live on your Facebook and YouTube? Tonight, we are live across Facebook and YouTube and around the world, according to my um, comments and views I get. It's phenomenal. So tonight, if you've just joined, we are talking about lots of things. We're just going to catch up in our little makeup club. What are you all doing? What have you tried? How are things working? What have you bought? Have you got a new moisturizer, a new cleanser, a new makeup that I've recommended? Are you trying it? How's it working? We're talking war paint for men tonight. Finally, this little box arrived and I've had a chance to play around with it, look at it, and we're gonna do that tonight. We're gonna to be talking about some brand new products from my favorite Hazard Labo, that's coming up. And I'm gonna be talking about some lovely cleansers to get you through now that, well, I was gonna say now the weather's changed, but we've had snow. What's happened to this spring weather? I thought that we're gonna have sunshine and, and ah, Scott likes my hair. I, I've just tussled it tonight, tussled and, you know, bit of a, oh, got a big, a bit of an area on the screen, mirror, this mirroring screen face. Havoc with your uh, coordination. So some cleansers, because of course, the weather is getting a bit warmer very, very soon. And we might want to lighten your moisturizers. You might want to lighten your cleansers. You might want to look at something that's a bit more for your summer travels, if it happens, or even if it's just out and about, so you're not feeling like you've got those heavy creams on during the winter. Um, Dawn, he had too many Easter eggs. Hands up, I had too many Easter eggs too. Just had my tea. Day one of my diet, Lorraine. Diet starts on a Wednesday. Good day to start it. I'm drinking martini and tonic. I didn't have any lemonade. I like martini, chinsano and lemonade. Call me, call me an 80s child. So I've got martini and tonic. It's rather nice. No calories, Lorraine, in martini and tonic. From Minneapolis. <laughs> I tried to say Ryan from Minneapolis and it came out and I was like, oh, that's called martini speech. Uh, welcome. You see, I told you we have international followers on this lovely channel. Um, Jeff watching from Panto Days. Hello, Jeff, darling. Hope you're well. Got Vita Liberata. It's amazing. Ian, I'm glad you thought it's amazing because Emily commented. I don't know if you saw. She said she looked a bit jaundiced and she turned into an umpalumpa. I didn't have that with Vita Liberata. Um, never works on a Monday, Lorraine. Number one diet rule. Never works on a Monday. So just say Monday. I start it tomorrow and then eat what you want on a Monday. It's my rule. Never tried my team. I'm used to drinking it. Yes, Lorraine, my mum used to drink chinsano with lemonade and I never really liked it, but I like it. Maybe it makes me reminisce of my parents and childhood. Not that I was drinking chinsano when I was a child, but you know what I mean? Uh, and it's delicious. Martini Bianco, I think they call it in uh, America or the white martini, they call it in the Caribbean. Look at me saying Caribbean uh, instead of Caribbean. Or uh, we call it Cinsano. Is Cinsano a brand? Or is it a type of martini? Question of the night. Dry martini and tonic. Is that what I've got, gamer? Dry martini. Is that what martini Bianco is? Or have I, because Cinsano, martini Rosso, or oh, I think that's sweet martini. The red one, the dark one. Why is it called Rosso? It's brown. It's not even red. But I like Martini Rosso and Lemonade. Oh, now we're talking. You can't beat a classic, Ian. That's why you all follow me. Classic celebrity, most glamorous woman in the world, bringing you love, light and laughter on a Wednesday. Now, let's get into it. We're going to talk about war paint for men. But women, don't think it's not for you. Well, technically it's not. So, my, you might want to put Emmerdale on the background when we talk about this. But... Do you remember when I tried Ulta? We had a whole men's secret makeup club and I tried the Ulta range and we tried some of the good products that aren't specifically for men. But this is the main brand for men that I see on social media a lot, 
it always has the gorgeous topless men going, I'm just going to put a bit of concealer on here and I'm, you know, it's for the lads who don't think it's makeup. Do you know what I mean? I'm just going to put a braid of bronzer on. You know, you've got like people, you know, just the ripped like this because of course if you put a concealer on, you're going to have a six pack, obviously. Um, so they mark it very much for the bloke, lad, heterosexual, I'm going to look good wearing makeup, but I'm not wearing makeup. Do you know what I mean? Don't call me a willy woof to buster. That's the marketing they go down. If you're watching from more paint, I say it as it is on here. So my name is Lavoie, the, the, the real influencer. I don't quite know what I'm influencing. Drinking, kind of sounds a bit. Drinking and giving up on your diets. So you might want to think, um, so I'm just reading the comments. Fabulous, Jamie, I'm glad that worked. I'm going to say I agree with you, Ian. I didn't like Ulta. The colours weren't great. The packaging was really bad. Cheap. Oh, my light flickered. Do you know what? That's funny. Because I've just put on Sally Morgan, the Psychic Sally's perfume, Darling, which I've got. I've just put that on and my light flickered. I think I'm channeling psychic spirits with Sally, Sally Morgan's perfume. Oh, don't start flickering, you. You're freaking me out. Right, but you know what's lovely about war paint is it's a it's not expensive by any means, but the packaging's nicer. And that it says a lot. You don't want something to feel like it's gonna break the first time you use it. And it feels like there's a bit more thought going into the packaging. It's weighty, it's glass bottles, it's pump action. You know, I love a pump action, things don't oxidize, things don't change colour, all the ingredients don't dry out, and it's really I think it's the best men's range out there. Said it, put it out there, War Paint. Now, I must put it, I'm not sponsored or paid by any of these brands. These were sent to me for free. So, is that sponsored? Is it not? Well, no, because if I don't like it, they give it to free, I'll still tell you it's rubbish. Um, you know me. Because basically, people say to me, yeah, but they've sent you for free, you should say it's good. Well, no, because if it's rubbish, I don't want any more of it sent to me, do I? I'm going to say it as it is. So, you are watching the Lavoir Secret Maker Club every Monday slash occasionally on a Wednesday. Um, in case you're wondering, my name is Lavoir The Show. That's my Instagram. Follow me. Share these videos. Share the love. Share the love of, of makeup and skincare because we're talking more paint for men. Number one, I'm going to talk about this. The Tinted Moisturiser. £22 in this little bottle here. Look at that lovely little packaging. It's glass. That flicking was meant to make you realise it was glass. That made it sound plastic. My glass is not plastic. <laughs> that didn't work. I was trying to go, ching, ching, ching. Tinted moisturiser for men. Now, this is in light. I should have looked what other colours they do. I, don't, I didn't look. But you know what? When I first, it's a pump. Love a pump. Right? You don't need much. When I first tried this colour, I'm just going to dim my light so you can see this. I thought, oh, that's a bit peachy for me. And it felt a little bit warm, even though that's called light. However... When you rub that into the skin, it gives you a... Look how sallow that hand looks. And that's the one with the tinted moisturiser. Look how that's just given me a little bit of a glow and a little bit of warmth to the skin. So that slight warm peachy tone gets rid of any sallowness in your skin. So if you're a bit pale, a bit pinky tone, maybe like a bit green around the gills, like when I did Orville, this is going to give you a little bit of colour, a very, very, very light coverage, nowhere near a foundation, boys. And it's just going to give you that slight life to the skin that that hand doesn't have and that one does. Can you see? And I think that's beautiful. You saw how little I put on. That hand is the same as half the face. So it's going to last you a good time. So for 22 quid, I've got light and I think that's quite warm. So if you're a sort of um, a fair skin tone to sort of medium skin tone, light is probably going to work for you. Medium is probably going to go into more of your warmer tan skin tones, Mediterranean skin tones, and then I imagine the dark skin tones going to more Asian, Arabic. I don't know if they do black skin. I need to have a look. Apologies, I should have done my research. I was running around in my underwear about 10 minutes ago, which is something you don't want to see on a secret makeup club. It's not that sort of club. And um, I should have done my research. Hands up, I've had a very busy day. So I threw myself onto a live to talk to you about. But 22 quid, 22 quid for that. How much do you get? 30 mils, 22 quid, little top, pump bottle, really nice, really masculine packaging, weighty glass. Well done, more paint. Well done. 
Concealer, 18 quid. I mean, look at these prices, guys. They are so phenomenal. They're all on the war, uh, war paint website. Um, the concealer, little pot like this. Now, when I did open it, I thought, oh, come on, war paint. Because it was... <laughs> okay, well, that was a little plastic. You know, from that. Look, it's a little bit half full. I felt like the concealer, you could have had more... Give us more product or make a smaller jar. Don't do the trickery. I don't like it. I think it's real. Five grams. Uh, it says, great to hide dark circles, spots, scars, and blemishes. Dab on and blend out with your finger or a sponge. It's concealer. Doesn't need. What is this? This is light again. So this is the hand with the uh, tinted moisturiser on. So I'm going to add a bit more of that concealer on. Now. This is, it feels really hydrating, really moisturising. It's not going to dry out and it gives you really good level of coverage. Again, I'm going to show you this other hand with nothing on compared to this one. So if I just put some concealer on this slightly sallow hand here on one side, let me just do it so I can see it, guys. It's going to be a bit quicker. <gasps> oh, I've got that awful dry skin on the back of my hand. My hand looks like an 80 year old. I need to moisturise. Okay, there you go. Con no concealer, concealer. Can you see the difference how that's concealed? Under the eyes, this has got a really good yellow base to it. So what's that going to mean? It's going to counteract any darkness. It's got yellow into it. It's going to just counteract any blueness that you've got into the eye. That corrector is going to happen in there as well. Let me just flick onto the comments, see what people are saying. I actually have a makeup question. I really have bad red bags under my eyes. Do you think makeup will get rid of them? Yes, it will, John Patrick. If they're red, you need a sort of a, a greeny corrector underneath. So you can get these. Um, I'm going to talk about some correctors, John, that are brilliant towards the end of this video. So don't go anywhere. And I'm going to talk about some correctors from Cryolam, which are brand new, John. But they're going to work for you. And then you put the concealer on the top. Correct the colour, then add the coverage. Otherwise, you might find it still looks a bit ashy or grey if you've got a lot of darkness and you just put a yellow concealer straight on the top. Lorraine, of course women can wear any of this makeup. It's just tailored for men. It says four men on it. But you know what? The tinted moisturiser is great for travel girls. And the concealer has got great coverage. And these prices, they are just really, really lovely. Um, my colour grade is steel, but it's red and peach. So that's to counteract any slight blueiness in the skin, Lorraine. So if you're very, very fair, like I think you are, and you've got slightly blue, transparent skin under the eyes where you see a bit of the veins, that's where the red and peach is going to warm that up. If you've already got red in there, you need the opposite, the green tones to neutralise it. That's what we're talking about tonight. What was that that just dropped? Did you hear that? You only hear a little tick, 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 tick. I'm like, is that an ear? Oh, I've got earrings on. Oh, you can tell I was rushed tonight. Right, the next thing we're talking about is the beard and brow gel. Lorraine, you might want this for your beard. Um, I'm joking. So this is a really, really, this is cool. This is one of the, my favourite brow gels. And of course, you can use it on your beard or your moustache, guys or girls. Um, really good for taming those unruly brows. So again, I'm just going to go back to the comments. 16 quid. It's a soft tube. It unscrews. And on it, it has a little comey flat brush. So you can squeeze, it's a clear gel, has no colour to it. So I'm going to squeeze some out. See there? So a clear gel. Squeeze some out and then comb that through your brows, through your beard. It's going to dry clear. It's not going to be uh, chalky or anything like that. And it's going to dry like a hair gel and keep your unruly brows in place. This is really, really cool. Beard and brow gel, £16 from War Paint. What else is on my little banner list? Um, I'm racing through these tonight. Right, this. Love this, guys. We, I, when they sent to me, I'm like, what is all this about? So they have sent me the remover, which is a really good size. That reminds me of like Elemis. I did that a bit erotically when I held that. I apologise. It's the remover. So it's a makeup remover. Guys, if you're wearing concealer and foundation, you need to cleanse your skin if you're wearing... Um, makeup for the first time. You can't just go to bed and leave it on or use a wet wipe. You need to start and cleanse your skin. I'm just looking what Fane said. I bought some more paint and put some on a blemish on Sunday. Saturday out with my friends on Platinum Common. My friend pointed out and said, what's the orange slap on your face? Please suggest something for blemishes. Right, Fane, you need to use less if you're, if you're seeing it. 
because remember a concealer is just a tiny tiny bit to go on uh, but maybe the color isn't right for you so again there's loads of uh, concealers and foundations i've recommended go on to my youtube lavoir the show and look at the first men's makeup session i did i covered tinted moisturizer from number seven right through to concealers that aren't so warm based because you might find that war paint isn't the right color for you this isn't going to be the right color for everyone the range isn't big enough the remover is a gel remover it's like a bluey color look at that oh and it's really light it doesn't have, i thought it was going to have that really bad sort of male links effect fragrance you know they just think that all men want to smell like really cheap links and trust me boys it does not have that effect on women it's not fragrance, it's fragrance free. And it's um, really lightweight, really light, not sticky at all. And if you want to just clean the face without feeling oily, that remover is going to be lovely. So guys and girls, girls, if you've got a boyfriend who has got oily skin, oily T-zone, that cleanser without makeup is going to be really, really lovely. So I'd recommend that a lot. And it, what's this I put on the screen? Remover and bamboo sets, 20 pounds. On War Paint, they do everything in sets. You can buy the whole range in a set. There's a cleanser set, a concealer and foundation set. Oh, I'm getting hot. So you can buy sets and you can buy things individually. This came in this little bag and I was like, what is this War Paint? And I looked at it and now I'm two minds of this. I'm going to be honest, I'm two minds with these. These are... Um, 80% cotton, no, no, other way around. 80% bamboo, 30% cotton. Don't quote me on the percentages, but they're about that range. So they are really good um, natural fibers and they are washable, machine washable cotton wool pads to remove. So you can put the remover on, you can wet them, put the remover on and take off your makeup, bung them back in this little wash bag when you've used them and throw them in a the washing machine. Now, if you're super green and want the planet and you want girls to have black, I mean, they're black, they're really cool. I've used them to take my makeup off. They're super soft. So if you've got really sensitive eyes, sore eyes, and even cotton wool sometimes feel like it drags or pulls, these are going to be beautiful for you. They're going to really transform how you remove your makeup. Can you be bothered to wash your pads when you took your makeup off? Do you want to just put it in the bin? I do. I'm sorry, David Attenborough, but I do. I don't know if I want to machine wash it. But if that floats your boat, as a green save the planet person or for really really soft makeup removal that's the bamboo pads that are on there there's loads of them in here i think i've used two already uh three four five six seven eight i'm gonna say you get ten um oh god lorraine does your mum get your hubby every christmas a link set oh god you need to say that you're allergic is that a cleanser same as a remover um do you know what i don't know ian i've been saying it's a cleanser but you might be right is it just a remover that you out using wet let me have a look talk amongst yourselves i've got my little war paint manual remover remover is a water-based product that helps remove all makeup and oils from the face at the end of the day apply one or two pumps onto our reusable pads and wipe your face clean oh apologies so it's not a cleanser <laughs> that you use in water. You literally pump and go. Just like a vegan who's had too many beans. So you pump it onto the pads and you wipe it off. How lovely is that? And how easy is that to use? So I'm going to do something. Right, what should I do? Let's tint your moisturiser on the back of that hand again. Rub all that in so it's nice and warm. It does come up warm. It does come up warm. So you might just want to watch watch how much you put on, peeps. Okay. You can see, that's the hand with it on. That's the hand with none on. Let's get the removable cotton pads. How the labo is coming up. Don't go anywhere. How the labo is coming up. Pump on there. On the back of my hand with the cotton pad, the removable cotton pad. Oh, that's so soft. That's so lovely. Quick wipe. There we go, both hands are the same. Two pumps, brought it all off. The pad doesn't even look dirty. Great, love it. Thank you for asking that question, Ian. I was sending you all down the wrong path, wasn't I telling you to use it in the shower? Um, so, remover, beard and brow gel, concealer. Let's see the moisturizing on there. 
tinted moisturizer. All those products, really, really beautifully priced. Wall paint, I think they're great. The packaging is weighted, it's lovely, it's glass. The colors, they're not gonna be for everyone, so check the colors. I'm sure you can send them back if the color isn't right for you, but check them out. Better than Ulta. Don't waste your money with Ulta. I'm gonna put that back in my little washing up bag. Can go in the washing machine. Could you be bothered? They also sent me a makeup sponge. Um, for me, it's a bit latexy. It says soak in water and you use it to apply. Uh, personally, I would use a beauty blender. I don't think the sponge is all that. That's why I haven't mentioned it. Um, so I would keep that clean. How do you know when they are clean? Well, that was my thing, Julie, about the pads, because they're black. You don't know if you've used one or not. So I think you've just got to have a system where you put the dirty ones in the bag and you keep your clean ones to the side. Can you be bothered? Probably not. Let's move on, gorgeous people, to something very exciting. Um, I want to talk about this. I jumped on a Zoom call with the Cryland head of makeup the other day uh, because I was telling them about my problems with my iPhone 12. This isn't my iPhone. That's why the quality is a little bit dodgy, but I like the dodgy quality. High definition for makeup in 2021 is a nightmare and the high definition cameras are just going to get worse and worse. So they said, Lavoie, come and jump on a call. We want to talk to you about a brand new foundation. And I'm trying to get one of them to come on. They're sending me the foundations. I'm going to try them. And then I'm going to get one of them to come on and explain how they work. But it's for sale now on the Cryoland website. And this comes back to the concealer and correctors that you were asking about earlier for under the eyes. Digital Complexion Foundation by Cryoland. Oh, my God. Gemma at Cryoland, one of the senior makeup artists, did half her face with the high definition makeup. The, not even high definition, digital complexion. It's designed for high definition cameras. The particles are shaped differently. There's loads of science behind it. I don't want to get into it tonight, but it's designed to make you look flawless, remove texture, remove anything that, you know, powders and eyeshadows and shimmers that high definition cameras show up. So when you're taking selfies, the whole digital complex foundation it has concealers, foundations, cream foundations, under eye concealers that look phenomenal, and a face powder, all designed to not show up with a high definition camera. Check it out on the Cryolan website, Digital Complexion Foundation. It's brand new. It's just launched. I wanted to tell you about it first on the Secret Makeup Club, because you know me, I bring all the new stuff to you. Check it out. It looks Phenomenal. I'm going to get some in the next couple of weeks and I will touch on it and I will get someone from Cryland to come on and explain how it works. But my God, you're not going to want to miss that one. Let me just look on the, uh, where I'm up to. Right. This. Now, when we were chatting the other week, um, Indra, the lovely Indra Cotton, who was on here a lot, mentioned that the Hazalabo lotions just feel like they're sitting on her skin and they're not hydrating enough. Well, don't mean to single injure out she probably doesn't need this because she's so youthful but if you have more drier skin and you're finding the Hadalabo lotions aren't quite giving you that hydration still use them but add this on top brand new this is just out just out hot to the market Hadalabo wrinkle filler cream can you believe i'm talking wrinkle filler what a glamorous name this is much richer than your other Hazalabo creams. Now, you can probably see here, can you see how that is like a proper cream? So it's got more of a emollient, uh, def definitely more of a cream and hydration to it. It's not a light lotion. It's not heavy and greasy, but it's definitely more of a full weight moisturizer. Still has your four different levels of hyaluronic acid in it. But it has in it fermented soya milk and collagen. Japanese people swear by it. Japanese people, let's face it, have beautiful skin. You never see a very badly aged Japanese person. This is the secret ingredient in the wrinkle filler. Fermented soya milk and collagen, along with your hyaluronic acid to give you massive hydration but really good anti-aging properties in there that are going to help to hydrate and just plump the skin around those deep wrinkles. That is beautiful. It's brand new, available at Superdrug. And it's 19.95. Bargain! And brand new as well. I couldn't even find this on the website, but it's brand new. Anti-aging facial sheet mask. So it's a tissue mask. I love a tissue mask. So for hydration. Um, when you're using the retinol, if you guys are on the retinol journey with me, 
Uh, you will probably be on your 0.6 by now, very soon to be your 1%. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back on YouTube and watch my retinol video with Natalie Archer. She explains all about anti-aging retinol. But there are days when your skin feels a little bit sensitive when you're on retinol, even if you're not on retinol. Those days when you're feeling a bit dry, a bit dehydrated, you're wanting to have a pamper, maybe you're having a bath, a tissue mask is such a great way to supercharge your skin with hydration. So this has a Labo tissue mask, it's $2.99. You lay it on the skin, it's packed full of hy uh, hyaluronic acid. Get your hand in the packaging, rub it all on your chest and massage it afterwards before you go to bed. And it will just give you that boost, especially on those days on retinol when your skin feels a bit sore or you just want a boost. $2.99, I mean, throw that in your trolley. Who has a trolley in Superdrug? Throw it in your basket when you're in Superdrug. You will not regret it. And give yourself a pamper night when you're next in the bath. Talk to me. Would need a large a wrinkle filler, Lorraine. Uh, I, I hope you're talking about... You won't need a large pot, you silly people. You're not that old. Hey, Lorraine's on 0.6 retinol. Well done. I bought the mask today as a saw in Superdrug. Love something that's new. Yes, well done, Robert. You will not regret it. These are brilliant. You know I adore Hadalabo. Japan's number one skincare and Lavoie's number one skincare. Between me and the Japanese, we're bringing you fabulous looking skin. Let me just have a sip of my martini. Mm. What does it smell like? Do you mean the wrinkle filler? Well, it's not fragrance because it's had a Labo. Nothing. It just smells like a slightly waxy cream. That's the only way I can describe it. Lorraine, no perfumes in any of these. So I wanted to touch very, very quickly before we have a natter about some of the cleansers that I've been trying because we're coming into, I obviously talk about my gel cleansing on a morning is all you need and a cream cleanser on a night if you've been wearing makeup. Those are my two rules of cleansing that will keep your skin tip top. So I wanted to introduce you to some very, very, very nice little, I'm just going to whack on my uh, uh, Instagram page. So I don't actually have a uh, little banner for these. So if you have more oily skin, if you have a, a boyfriend, a, a few, if you're a guy or a girl, or you know someone that gets really bad T-zone problems, so oily through the T-zone, and they just like more of a very, very light cleanse, but something that makes their skin not feel stripped, but not feel oily. I wanted to recommend this, the T-Zone Control, Control? Control Cleansing Gel from Ren is absolutely beautiful. Clara Matt, Ren Skincare Cleansing Gel T-Zone Control. A really light, great little pump. It's great in the shower. A really light, watery-based pump. It's Ren, so it's all got really natural ingredients in it. And it's going to just get rid of all that oil on your T-Zone before you start the day. It smells beautiful. It has like a slight herbally, rosy smell without being too feminine at all. Uh, it's for combination to oily skin, has willow bark in to help minimize pore appearance. That's what willow bark does. Uh, what else have it? it? has may blossom extract to help keep your skin clear. So may blossom is good for any breakouts. And it has blue cypress essential oil to soothe the mind. Yes, Ren, soothe your mind and get rid of your spots. What do you need? Middle of the road now, if you've got slightly drier skin and you're wanting a little bit more hydration from your cleanser, then I would recommend this. The uh, Sensi Bio DS Soothing Purifying Cleansing Gel by Bioderma. Now this, I gave this to Joanne this morning because it says on it, it gets rid of redness and scales. And I said, you always say you've got scaly skin on your face, Joanne. She was very, very offended. So if you suffer from redness, maybe rosacea, that's slightly more dehydrated skin, uh, redness through here, dryness through the forehead or around the chin area, which could, a lot of women can get very hormonal. This is really lovely. Now it's slightly richer. It's 15 pounds. I picked this up from one of those slightly bougie uh, pharmacies. But again, it's a clear gel but it's slightly more hydrating, but it's a gel cleanser. So it's beautiful on the night, it foams up, foams up, gives you more of a hydrated gel cleanse 
um, than the red one. Okay, but just a really nice, when it's warmer in summer, if you're going on holiday, you're abroad, these light cleansers on a morning just feel beautiful. Let me just tell you what's in it very, very quickly. Let me just scan the ingredients. Um, they're saying to use this uh, morning and night. So they're saying it'll remove makeup. I would be tempted to use it with a cloth if you're going to use it with makeup. Um, it's a lot of French. <laughs> it's a lot of French. It's soap free and it's fragrance free. So if you've got really sensitive skin, that's going to be beautiful. And then even richer skin is, uh, I really should have got pores and blackheads and still the odd spots, but I'm really looking after my skin. So frustrating. I wonder if you should try this, this Ren one, Lorraine, because it uh, might really, really help you. And then a slight light exfoliate as well would be wonderful. But for really more enriching uh, cleanse, now this is super hydrating. It is the Suku, S-U-Q-Q-U, -Q -Q -U, Enrich Foaming Wash. Can you see that? Enrich Foaming Wash. Um, again, it's slightly more bougie. This is available in Selfridges. Sorry, I haven't found out the price for you. But um, I've never tried a cleanser that is so hydrating. There's that light flickering again. If you've got more oily skin or breakout skin, this really isn't for you. But if you've got dry skin, you just can't get that hydration or your skin feels tight, whatever moisturizing cleanser you use, this is so rich. It's a cream. And you can see it comes out almost in the shape of the hole, like a sausage. So it's a cream and it's super, super thick. I don't like a thick cream on my face, but if you struggle with dry skin in the shower, this lathers up beautifully. And when you wash the skin, you feel like you've got this veil of beautiful hydration and oils on the skin. So there is a slight feeling of having something on the skin afterwards. Personally, I don't like that feeling. But if you want that feeling, oh my God, I've never tried such a rich face wash. So if this is ticking all the boxes you like and you like that indulgent cleanser, Suku Enrich Foaming Wash, they have this massage that you do on the, on the uh, website to go all around this anti-aging massage. They take it off with a cloth. You can buy a special face cloth to take it off. You do need a cloth to remove that because it is too rich just to shower off. But your skin will feel super hydrated. Um, so I'm reading the comments, got distracted. So that's what I wanted to touch on with you tonight. I wanted to touch on the war paint, the Ren, the brand new products from Hada Labo, and some lovely new cleansers. Now, the Secret Makeup Club, of course, next Monday, the bars are open, you can sit outside, restaurants are open, shops are reopening. So it might be a little bit like potentially, I don't mean the last one ever. But the last one on a set time, because I might need to vary my time as things start to go back to work. And when I go, oh, I just go back to work, that's heaven, and roll out and about. But I'll still keep you up to date when I hear new things and new products. And if there's really something you want me to try, by all means, send me a message. And I'm more than happy to dig out the brand, do little videos, do a review. We can all meet up together. But I feel like we've covered so much over the last couple of weeks, from eyeshadows to skincare to foundation to brushes to everything, that... We're just going to need some time to save the money back up, I think, if Lorraine Downing is still watching. So um, that's what we're going to do. And I'm so pleased that I've managed to cover some of the brands for men, wall paint, alter, whether we loved it or hate it, introduce you to Suku, introduce you to Hazalabo, and so many of the brands. We're not going to go anywhere. I'm just letting you know that it might not be every Monday at seven moving forward, but I will let you know when I'm doing one as always, as much as possible. So talk to me. Have you learned, Cherry Gale? And remember, all of these videos are on YouTube. Lavoir the show. You can watch them back. All the products and comments, they're not in the comments now because I was running a bit late tonight. But War Paint and the Wren, you can watch these back and get the links. Um, I will put them in the comments above uh, a bit later. And you can watch them back on YouTube. All the past videos are on there. So you can remind yourself of the cleansing re regimes, skincare for daytime, skincare for nighttime. And just indulge yourself, really. Isn't that lovely? Well, my darlings, I'm raising my martini. Exclusive news uh, coming up soon. It's my birthday in a few weeks. I'm not asking for anything. I have put together an Amazon wish list, but that's just being greedy, isn't it? Do you not think? Um, but I am going to do a live show, a Zoom show, 
on the 18th, Sunday the 18th, you'll hear about it first. It will go on uh, uh, my social media on Friday. So you can hear about it then. And uh, anything else? Theatres are booking. Super duper quick. So excited to get back on tour. I miss you all. Ian, happy birthday for tomorrow. That's amazing. I'm so glad you've all enjoyed it. And I've loved you all joining me and sharing the comments and, and telling me that you've learned a lot. It means a lot. Skincare and makeup is my passion. I adore it. And if I can just sit here for an hour and talk about it with you beauties, it's a joy. So raising a martini to everyone. And you know what? When things start to back open, thank you for being a wonderful sport and getting me through it. And don't forget, if you haven't seen my line of duty audition video, you need to watch that. And there's more of my audition tapes have been leaked. How my agent has let these be leaked on social media, I have no idea. There's another one coming this weekend. Brace yourselves. Darling, sending you lots of love. Bye, gorgeous. Send the share the video, share the love. Bye.